Gretna, a beer for the Gretna 2008 versus Civil Service Strollers game in the Lowland League. Welcome to Gretna. Right, I've just asked if I can have a wee walk uh, down, have a wee look at the ground. Right, there we go. Well, there's the dugouts and we stand there, it's quite good. Dugouts are quite far apart so they can, <laughs> so they can be well behaved. <laughs> Quite a good day, uh, quite a good to end here, eh? That's good. Well, there we are, we've uh, got a nice cup of tea in the uh, in, in sort of bar at the Gretna here, and uh, very nice. So we're, we're travelled down as guests um, of uh, Civil Service Tours, so that's very nice of them indeed. Uh, so I'm just having a wee look around the uh, Radio Park, I've been calling it Radio Park, I don't know why, it's Radio Park, home of Gretna 2008 FT. Everything's black and white, there's no surprise in the first. We've got uh, turnstiles here no longer in operation. We don't have the one set open, um, but this would have been pretty. And, uh, yeah, it's like the stand, doesn't it? An old turnstile under there as well. Oh, very good. There we go. A wee bit damage there, but it's uh, okay, still a good, still a good big ground. Just met a guy from View from the Hello. Terrace. How you doing? How are you doing? I'm, uh, I'm alright, Nori, what's happening? Hey, well, tell me what you're doing then, doing a Gretna. Today I'm directing <coughs> a segment on Gretna Football Club. Right. Technically, it's two segments. We're doing one on Gretna 2008, right. and we're doing one on Gretna as it the was from 1946 yeah, to yeah. 2008. Good. So today, as you can see here, let's yeah. spin you around. That's Danny coming back towards us. He's been, just been shooting the team. Oh, what a shot. <laughs> He's just been shooting the team, doing the, the warm-ups. Yeah. Uh, it's currently about, <coughs> give me a second, it's currently about 10 to 3. Uh -huh. So in about 10 minutes, <coughs> we're going to be somewhere else, and we're going to start the film. Bits Great. of the entire match. And I'll be in BBC Scotland, eh? Be on BBC Scotland, uh, I think we're going on in about, it was a terrible shot, by the way, just went over <laughs> the I, never, I never saw that, I missed that. Uh, it'll be going on BBC Scotland in about two Weeks. Ah, great. We'll look out for it then. It was oh. great meeting you guys. Oh, uh, thank you very much. It's one of my favourite programmes, honest. Well, listen, it's, it's, it's one of mine. It's one of my favourites <laughs> as well. I have to that's say that because they're paying me. Uh, but yeah, thank you very much. I know, man. great. That's great meeting you guys. Oh, Cheers. Take care, man. Take care. Right, Craig. Great seeing you again. You're down at the Gretna game. You were sitting on the bus, you were a wee bit nervous about the game today. What, yeah. what is that? Is it Gretna or, or better now, do you think? I think last time we played Gretna, we beat them 4-0 and they, right. they didn't they didn't look up to much, but they've certainly improved. Uh, I saw them again a couple of months ago uh, against uh, Broom Hill right. and they were very good. So I think this could be a closer game. It'll certainly be a closer game than the last time. Right. Um, but I'm still hopeful that, um, that the Strollers will, will get a, a win today, hopefully three points. Of course, I was thinking like you're more a realist. So, yeah, yeah. So if, if we don't have a good result, um, then you're not I would disappointed a, as much. I would know? take a point. I would take aye, a point. Aye. It's a long journey out here. Yeah. As I say, I think at home they're, they're, they can be you know, pretty pretty decent. So uh, I think it should be a, a good contest, to be honest. And I think certainly um, it could go either way. I think it could, Aye. you know. Could be... Aye, oh, oh, definitely, yeah. So I've got a wee prediction, what, a goal in it maybe? Um, I think there will be goals. I don't think there'll be many. No. Um, I'll go with 2-1 to the Strollers. Well, I'm the same. So if we're both wrong, 
Maybe we can both have a walk. That's we it. Yeah, we can honest. walk back home if we're wrong, aye. Thank you, man. Thanks very much. Special thanks for somebody with a big bum, aye. Right. There's the team's coming out, I think. I'm here with Paul and Grace, I think they've got, they've got their flags up in here, you know, waving it all. What's your, your view? You've got a connection with Great, haven't you? Uh, from Carlisle's. Good. Carlisle's house, I came here in 93, last time yeah. I came here, did rock stairs. <laughs> yeah, very cool. And you go around, you go around with Grace, you see Grace a lot of games. Two weeks ago, I played yeah. Talbot last week. Yeah, and what's your favourite ground, Grace? Um, out of the ones I've been, probably Auckland Talbot. Auckland Talbot? Oh, there you go. Yeah, I'm a St Mirren fan, so St Mirren. Aye, I know. Well, I, I, I know that Grace is a Munn fan, so that would be our favourite. Right. Last kick off. <laughs> Team going on just over in the garden there. Yeah. One of the scorers. Oh, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, along there. Hopefully we can get them uh, making a bit of noise later on. Tricky one there, I don't know if the wind got that or... Oh, oh. oh it's a foul all the way. I think it would be thought it'd be a foul to uh, get out of there, but... Okay. Not looking for the foul, I've never got one note. Oh, well, well off target, but it's what the first five, ten minutes has been all throwers. Um, no, they've not had any clear cut chances, but so far they're, they're dominating the game. Oh, well, boys, we're in that garden there. Yeah? Two boys now. So I've got the ball back. <laughs> Please, can we get our ball back? Okay, now they are. Oh, we got a corner kick. So that's the first corner kick of the game to Gretna 2008. I think you need a few lessons from the <laughs> attacking the wings, they're using the wing a lot. Oh, 
Tady to je... No. No tak jo. Ja. No, well, well saved. It's the first real shot and target for several service doors. And it's got the Yelters going there. That's a good ball. Oh, well, I go there to save that. I think it was probably just dipping under the bar. A good shot. Oh, that was not far away. The wind picked up there, I don't know if that, that was the reason. Oh, he's got the ball, oh. Good block. Oh. Oh, my God. There's another corner to go right now. I think there's a couple of corners each now. I don't shot one. <laughs> I thought we were for a corner, I don't know. Oh, the chance. Oh! No. Oh, yes, there's a penalty. <laughs> I didn't miss it. Oh, yes, definitely. I'm not worried about it, but I don't think there was anything in it. I didn't go for an opportunity, just a fail in the box. There we go. One no to the source. Well done, guys. One no. I think that's been a difference with right now. I've got three corners and I've not done through a lot with them. Um, that was a poor one again. Oh, okay. Offside, offside, there we go, see. That was actually a good passage of play by Gretna, but offside again. Oh, oh it's a foul, no? Oh, good tackle, I suppose, but... Oh! That was close. There's uh, somebody to put in. Oh. 
Oh! What a goal! Well done. And that's just before half time as well. Uh, uh, a great time to score. Well, it was obviously a good time to score, but uh, I, I reckon that's about full time. So uh, two 0 to the Stars. Great goal. That's uh, full time right away. I kick off there. Two 0 to the Stars. There we go. Right, Paul. Half time review. What do you think of the game so far? Ah, oh, it's been not bad. I thought. Uh, Grayton had a couple of good chances, a couple of good corners, should have took them. Yeah. And then the Strollers have just had a good a penalty shout. Yeah. Dodgy, I would say, yeah. never went. But good penalty, and then yeah. last goal. Was uh, last goal time. was a good one, killed it. Yeah. But I think Grayton were playing decent, but Strollers, you could tell they were a league, yeah. they're higher up in the league. So Yeah, that's right. I, you, see, you see just a slight difference. Eh? Uh, you, you, uh, you were saying uh, you, you've been a few West of Scotland games uh, as well. I've been a West of Scotland games, so we were at Ockham Lake last, last two weeks ago. Uh, Obviously the quality is probably a little bit higher. And that was Greece's favourite, eh? Uh, she, she likes that ground, I <laughs> uh, Many because she can walk around it. Uh, and the club shot's better. <laughs> I, I, I like walking in grooves as well, uh, okay. I mean, I don't like it when there's a stop, because it used to be able to walk around it. Yeah, aye. Uh, put that fence up. Thanks, uh, Paul. Right. There's a view from the terrace here. Doing his wee bit. Filming at half time entertainment there. Always, you guys. Always. Yeah? Good stuff. There we go. Shoot, shoot. Well done, oh, man. Unlucky. I've come round uh, this bit of the second half and the ultras have disappeared. So I wonder where they've gone to. I wonder if they're behind us. Oh, here's, oh, I don't know. That's weird. The lost ultras of Gretna. Ultra's going. Huh? So where are the guys going? Uh, so just a bit of the co-op. The co-op? <laughs> Is that them coming? <laughs> yeah, no. Oh, no. Oh, oh. oh. Dear me. That was close. Nah, I didn't go on, I don't think. So I'll tell you what. <laughs> what do you think? Did it cross the line? Think so? No, I don't know. Oh well. It was certainly a chance anyway. You saying it was in there? You, you were coming in there, eh? Aye, aye. You reckon it was in? Aye. I mean, I couldn't tell from me to be honest. Right. Well, there you go. He claims it was in. Oh, well, I hit the bar. I missed that as well. I was thinking, I missed that one of the bar there. I was too busy asking the fans if they thought the ball had crossed the line. Um, the it was interesting because uh, one guy thought it did, uh, but, but everybody else says they didn't think it was, to be fair. So they're getting the fans, even most of the getting the fans think it didn't cross the line. But they hit the bar the other now and I missed it. And uh, it's very close. And because I was laughing away there, I just missed the third goal by several service stores. So well done, 3-3-0 three, three to the stores. Well, there you go. Uh, in fact, that was an excellent time for Strollers to score because after the two chances that Gretna had, that maybe they arguably they should have scored, um, Strollers go and they scored the third goal. Game over, really. Pretty early in the second half. 
But I promise I'll concentrate on the game now. I was too busy. You, you do get distracted. I should have been paying attention to the game, but it's good to get the views of the fans when you're uh, in the grounds. But uh, <laughs> I should have been keeping an eye on the, the game there. I missed, I missed out on the cross in the bar uh, by Gretna and uh, some of the strollers go. The ultras coming back, they were popped out with the Scotland, I believe it or not. <laughs> Of them coming along. There we go. Delta's are back. Another attack. Oh, there we go. Oh, that was not far away. Oh, I shot on target there, but I missed it. Oh, it's a foul, no. Oh, cool, no. Oh, there we go. There we go. There you go, 4 now. Great, 4 now to the strollers. Uh, to be honest, though, I thought, um, I don't think the uh, great deserve to be 4 now down. Uh, however, the strollers are the better team. Substitution for strollers, I think it's a double one, isn't it? 10 going off, number 8 going off. And 14 and did you see that? Ah, it's number number 18. There is other player. Another shot over the bar. No. Yeah, sums up great now. They just got to find the, the final ball. I'm afraid they were playing with really a good bit. Of course, these two goals really not the stuffing out of the thing because they were on top of the time right now but uh, they just got to score it's lucky for them the result of the big cone is going to shoot I think no, it didn't work very well oh, it's too high Well, I see, I've have had a lot of possession, but they just don't aren't they doing as much with it as they should be doing. Uh, they're not they're not capitalising on the, the amount of possession. Oh, they froze off that wee bit of the ground, unfortunately. So you can't even walk all the way around. It's not pretty. Uh, yeah. 
Oh, so we'll oh, keep your book in here, like. This is speaking to anyway. Oh, no, yellow card. Oh, offside again. He has to be three or four times they've been offside. Offside, huh? That was a good ball, though. Huh? There's no other drum, but there's a. Well, maybe a book in fact. Yep, so you look after number three. Well, that's full time, 4 0 to the strollers. Um, they had a lot of death in the second half, a couple of good chances, but uh, I think the sucker punches uh, they went up and scored, particularly when Gretna were in uh, ascendancy there. Uh, that's always the best time to score. Actually, that was some game, eh? What a What's game, your yeah. summary? Unbelievable. Yeah. I mean, the, the strollers were good in the first half. I thought Gretna came out, guns blazed in the second half. You know, almost scored and they hit, hit the bar. And then the strollers just put the game to bed. That third goal just killed it. It did. And I thought the strollers were on top. And it's a, a flawless performance from the strollers today. That's right. And if Gretna had got that goal back, because they, they, you could argue they deserved it, mm. it'd been a totally different game. I think, yeah, I think uh, it could have been a lot tighter, but um, I thought, as I say, like man to man, I thought Strohers were outstanding. Oh, they were. Ah, they, 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 there wasn't a bad performance there, and certainly even the players came off the bench, put in a good shift. Aye, aye, it was, a, it was a good game, a good but performance. Fair play to Gretna, you know what I mean? They kept aye. battling to the end, they didn't let their heads go. Um, no. Nope. You know, they were unlucky not to score, but, uh, you know, fair play, they didn't lose the, lose the head, as aye. I say. So what? So what's so what's your message to everybody about supporting these sort of teams? Uh, isn't it great? Oh, it's just, I think it's crucial to go and support your local club, and uh, you know whether you support a, you know like a like a Hibs or a Hearts or anyone else, you, you can find time to go and see, you know teams like the Strollers and that. Eh? So and, and it's good value as well. Eh? I've seen the best football matches I've seen in my aye, lifetime aye. this season watching the Strollers. Eh? So That's right. it's well worth it, and it doesn't cost uh, much to do it either. No. So they they obviously appreciate you coming out, and they're good to good to us. Eh? So um, yeah. But well, it was great to have you along as company again, Craig. My pleasure, my and, pleasure. And, and we're bumping you again soon. Yeah. Well, first of all, can I thank uh, Civil Service Strollers, uh, um, the President and uh, the Committee, for inviting me down uh, to travel with them to Gretna. It was a, it was a great uh, privilege uh, to do so. Uh, it felt, felt very special and it was uh, a great wee trip and, of course, a great game as well. Um, and a wee shout out to, to Gretna, it was a uh, uh, good hospitality and uh, they, they have their challenges. We were speaking to um, one of their board members and some of their volunteers uh, and they have sometimes trouble attracting players because of their location uh, and uh, so they, they put in a minibus which of course costs some money uh, to, to bring players, uh, no doubt from the central belt. Uh, so they, all these clubs have their, their challenges. As to the game itself, I mean, uh, how Gretna didn't score a goal, uh, they would have deserved one. At 2-0, they hit the bar twice, they had, they had chances, and uh, the third goal, as you always say, a man of cliches, of course, the third goal is always important, and uh, it went to the, the strollers. Uh, but I would have had no complaints if they had uh, scored, they deserved to uh, get a goal. And, uh, so they, they were unfortunate not to take anything from the game. It was great catching up with Paul and Grace, uh, I, agree. I follow them on Twitter, it's always interesting to see where they're going. Uh, I think they're some Mun fans, but they, uh, they, uh, they go to a lot of the lower league games, uh, I think mainly west of Scotland. And I met a ground topper from uh, Carlisle, I think it was. He, was, he was planning to go to the Queen of the South, 
uh, to Dumfries, but he said something about his train being cancelled and he ended up going to the Gretna game. Uh, he asked me to take his photograph uh, as I had to record his trip uh, to, to Raydale Park. Uh, and if I, I, I didn't think his name, so if you're watching, make a wee comment. And as always, it was a, a great company. Uh, Craig, always a pleasure to see him at games and uh, follow him on Twitter as well, Terrace Trails. Uh, in, interesting, well, he, he actually does a lot of updates on his Twitter feed, uh, the matches he goes to. So give him a follow, it's, it's always interesting stuff. I just want to thank you for watching if, if you've stayed this far, but I, I, I do appreciate if you if you like or uh, uh, subscribe as well. I would really appreciate it. It means a lot to me. So thanks for watching. Uh, I'm going to finish with the usual photographs of my trip to Radial Park. Here come the Gretnas.